Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Capital.com to TradingView in 2023. So if you're looking to sync your Capital.com account with TradingView for a seamless trade experience, you are in the right place. As of now, there uh, is a method to establish a connection between these platforms, allowing you to uh, harness, of course, the power of both of your trading strategies. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm going to use like Brave Browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the CRL section and basically let's start by opening capital.com website. And this, of course, once you type capital.com, this will take you to the home screen or main screen. I'll have to do the same for TradingView. So type tradingview.com, hit the enter button, and this will take you again to the home screen or main screen. So for me, for TradingView, I'm already logged into my accounts, so I don't have to do it. And for capital.com, as you can see, so if you have an account, go to the top right corner and click on login to log into your account. And if you don't have an account, of course, you can log in with Facebook, uh, Google, Apple. You know, if you don't have an account, you can always click on sign up and sign up into a new account with Google, Facebook, Apple, same. So I'll just go here and create an account with Google, why not? And as you can see, so I'm not like a US resident for tax purposes. Click on continue. Of course, if you are, make sure to not check that. And here, as you can see, so click on get started. As simple as that. You'll have to answer some questions, nine questions. You cannot skip them. So reason for opening the accounts, as example, so access example to financial. Do you have any trading experience less than a year or not at all? Uh, I can go back. Okay, so I'll just go with not at all. What's your highest level of education? For me, it's bachelor. And employment and example status, uh, retired and employed, whatever you want. So I'll just go with employed. Uh, your gross annual income, less than 20,000. What's the current value of your wealth? So less than 20,000. And what's your uh, origin of income and wealth? Savings and investments. Uh, I don't know. You can select more than one. So I'll just go with whatever. For me, I'm just ent entering some inaccurate information, some random things for you. you can enter accurate information. Make sure to do that so your account doesn't get banned or something like that. And have you considered your risk tolerance and ability to bear losses? I can take risk and afford losses. I cannot take risk and afford losses. So, of course, you'll have to go with I can because if you click on I can't, you will not be able to, to create an account. So, congratulations, you've passed the questionnaire so here we'll have to start entering your name i'll just do that enter name i'll just do that and click on continue dates i'll just go 20 uh, slash 02 slash uh, 2002 and click on continue so residence address i have this address so i'll just enter that out the number uh okay they need a valid phone number so i'll just enter one and i'm coming back to you so then they'll take you here to the terms and policies. Make sure to read all of that. So you'll have to open all of them and read them out. As you can see, it will take some time from you. Because as you can see, it's 81 pages for this one. For this one, as you can see, it will be a long journey. But make sure to read all of this. Then click on confirm. If you don't want to get like any, uh, any trouble in the future or something like that. If you don't care, you can always like uh, don't read. And then... You'll have, of course, to click on continue, then choose your account currency. Just choose US dollars, and click on continue. And basically, now they are creating my account. So if you're not verified yet, you'll have to verify your identity with a selfie and identity document. And you can continue on this device or do that through your uh, PC or, sorry, phone. You can do that. So basically, just go and finish your stuff. Just choose after that is passports. You're gonna verify the passport, driver's license, ID card, residence permits, depending on whatever you are. Then click on next. Once you upload those pictures, and once you finish, you will be good to go. So for me, I'll not verify my identity right now because I'm not going to use it for trading at the moment. But of course, for you, make sure to finish your identity and etc. Uh, other stuff, so you'll be able to use it. Then go back to trading view. 
So there is uh, or the way to connect the capital.com to TradingView. It's simply by going here to TradingView, go at the top here to broker, and as you can see, you'll find here capital.com. As simple as that, click on it. And here you'll be able to follow it and trade with it. Open an account with if you don't have an account on it. So for me, I'll just go and click on trade with it. And as you can see, you can check this option of don't remember me. If you don't want if you want to connect to trading view just once, if you want to keep connecting. You can let it and simply click on connect. Once you click on connect, they will take you here. You'll have to log in at your account. Basically, I'll just log in with my Google account because I created my account with a Google account. And as you can see, they will connect to my account right away. As simple as that. Now we are connected to capital.com through, of course, like uh, uh, with trading view brokers option. Now we'll be able to explore all the features you can start uh, driving or uh, do your trading analysis. And you can even explore some, uh, I don't know, integrated features combined, uh, such as viewing capsule.com charts, uh, executing trades, and leveraging, of course, the trading view analysis tools with capital.com data. And you will be basically good to go. So once you have your account and connect it, you can now even like keep an eye on charts on capsule.com. You can even like connect to other platforms as you can see here if we go always to sorry so this is for capsule.com we can look for other uh, brokers if you want to you can go here to trade this is for capsule.com you can close the trading panel for capsule.com example or open it up depending on whatever you want so I'll just close this and here of course you can look for other like coins that you want to keep an eye on on your watch list and uh, do your trading analysis on it so for crypto forex features find stocks whatever you want and as i said you can look for other connections other than capsule.com you can look i don't know on coinbase or something like that so this is for me in capsule.com of course i can look for other things as i said so just click on it once and you will find everything in capsule.com if it's not in blue you will find an, any other option. So that's going to be it for you. Already, congratulations. You've successfully established a link between your capital account, uh, capital.com account, and trading view in 2023. Now, enjoy the enhanced capabilities of combining the strength of both platforms for more uh, informed trading decisions. So, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. So, thanks for watching again. And goodbye.